in 1918, that pandemic started out as a very mild case of disease in the spring of 1918. The virus almost completely, or cases of the disease almost completely disappeared over the summer, only to reappear in the autumn of 1918 with the vengeance which we all know. So even though we might be seeing only mild cases now, we cannot say what will happen in the future. Uh, you have to realize that when the 1918 flu pandemic happened, um, the influenza virus had not been discovered yet. Uh, uh, people thought that a bacillus, a kind of bacteria called Pfeffer's bacillus, was actually causing the disease. So people didn't even know what, what the disease, where the disease came from. The 1918 influenza pandemic really targeted the young and the healthy. This was different than the yearly pandemics or even the mini pandemics that had occurred prior to 1918 and subsequently. And this really seared a mark in our medical memory. What we have found by looking very carefully at the sequences of the new H1N1 viruses is that we do not see the markers for virulence that were seen in the 1918 virus. It's too early uh, to switch to the uh, pandemic influenza projection um, because we are also entering the southern hemisphere um, seasonal influenza uh, and a lot of gaps in knowledge is still uh, underway and we need to learn more about this uh, new virus to make such a decision. and then go to the medical service, please. One of the problems we've had in looking at sort of what happened before is that the world has changed so much. And we always considered, for example, what difference would the speed of international travel make now? The big pandemic in 19, obviously, if people travelled from Mexico, it took them a week by boat. Now it takes them a couple of hours on a plane. So we always wondered what would happen. And what we've seen is it spread very rapidly from country to country, but actually the spread in the country is much milder and much slower. So that makes it difficult for us to predict what will happen based on previous ones.